and let us all that we can to build a better future. I wasn't ready for this. I actually had to really think long and hard about how to cover this segment and address it properly. And I'm pretty sure everyone else in independent media is going to be doing the same thing from RBN to dissidents, the Jimmy Dore show, the convo couch, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I get it in this day and age of politics, you need to be clever and sharp. I get it. It's not just a, 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 a idealist game. You, you have to be ready to play it and it has to be cutthroat, but there does come a point in time when you have to look at who you're surrounding yourself with. And I'm all for giving people a second chance. However, the recent actions of the Cornell West campaign has caused me to reevaluate the Green Party and what the hell they're doing. Now, look, I want to be honest. I hope I'm proven wrong. I would like to see the Green Party succeed and get 5%. I like to see them get an electoral college vote. I don't want to see the worst case scenario where they fizzle out and say, oh, everyone behind Biden or whoever the Democrat nominee will be. And I will apply the same standards to the Libertarian Party. And I do want to see a rise of third parties. But I, again, I have to give a shout out to this good friend of the show, uh, Roger Meadows, who suggests, hey, abolish all political parties, because at this point. In my opinion seems to be the correct path and supporting citizen ballot initiatives and starting building movements and organizations not connected to Washington, D.C. There is a silent majority here in America. 50% of Americans identify themselves as independents. And out of that 50%, there's a good portion that are just burnt out by electoral politics. And after seeing this news... And I and I ask people, is this is this fake? Is this is this a lie? Is this just a joke? I'm I'm waiting for the punchline because I never was prepared for something like this, in which Dr. Jill Stein tweeted out something that shook me to the core. The only thing I'm thinking when I read this is, come on, dog. Come on now, Dr. Jill Stein. Newsflash. It was me that brought Peter Dow to Dr. Cornell West. Who, why? Because I learned how essential an experienced campaign manager is for my campaigns without one. He's the most experienced campaign manager I know with independent green politics and strong opposition to duopoly. What? Do you know who this man is? Now I'm all for giving a person a second chance. Maybe, maybe, maybe Peter Dow has changed. I don't know. I don't know. But I see too many red flags. I see too many warnings. Because looking at his history as being a campaign manager, there's Hill Dog, number one, 2016, where the DNC committed election fraud. Remember that, Dr. Jill Stein? Remember that, Dr. Cornell West? You know? Denied Bernie Sanders to be on uh, be the nominee, where the DNC and Hillary Clinton campaign were working together. So many instances of election fraud, election fraud, election fraud, lack of paper ballots, lack of working machines, ballot stations, uh, ba uh, you know, polling stations being shut down, people waiting in line eight hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, Bernie Sanders supporters being smeared. Calling them white Bernie bros, even though if you look at Bernie Sanders supporters at the time, it was quite diverse and quite inclusive. Even though Bernie Sanders was a cuck and allowed the DNC to walk all over him. And don't forget, Dr. Jill Stein in 2016, that guy, Peter Dow, that man, that man there, vilified independents and third parties, vilified you. And to be clear here, he has apologized for smearing third parties and independents. Maybe he woke up. Maybe maybe he had a change of heart. But again, this is bringing the fox into the hen house. But maybe maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating. That's why I have you, my audience, because at the end of the day, all of you are going to have to come up with your own conclusions, do your own research, and, at, and absorb what I'm saying here and do your own research and find out, okay, where else the, do we go from here? Because – you and you alone are going to be making that choice in 2024, whether you vote independent 
or you're not going to vote. Or, hey, listen, I know we got Republican voters and Democrat voters. Fine, you're going to vote the way you want, whatever. But each of you are going to have to come down to your conclusion. So let's have democracy in the chat. Type one if you think, Kit, you know, you're overreaching. Give him a second chance. Maybe this is what the Green Party needs. It's time for change. Maybe maybe Dr. Jill Stein and Dr. Cornell West know what they're doing. Type two, no, man. The fox is in the hen house. And be ready for the campaign to say, ah, we got to support Biden, or whoever the Democrat nominee is going to be. I wonder how many twos we're going to get in the chat. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Maybe I'm wrong. That's why all of you are here. That's why all of you are here. That's why all of you are here. But again, it was Dr. Jill Stein. So I stand corrected for my previous video statements. You know, she was, you know, obviously she was an interim campaign manager, but she was the one who brought in Peter Dow. And of course, Dr. Cornell West says in a retweet, serious revolutionaries keep the focus on the suffering and struggling of everyday people who fight against empire and capitalism, white supremacy, male supremacy, homophobia, transphobia. OK, that's not going to resonate with a lot of people. I'm sorry. Identity politics is not on everyone's mind right now. It's the dollars. It's the economy. Anyone that tells you otherwise is lying to you. No one cares about identity. I get it. Some of these issues are important, but right now, everybody's pocketbooks is hurting, okay? Superficial ones cater to their individual careers, market opportunities, and personal pomics that bring attention only to themselves. People over profits. Not good. Uh, I just want to bring up this person here. Shout out to uh, Big Mad Crab of INN. Shame on you. Your campaign is now being spearheaded by a Zionist murderer who said we were on a hate mission for supporting uh, Bernie. This is not fighting empire. Again. There's Peter Dow. Hey. Peter Dow. Peter Dow, Bernie did more damage to Hillary's reputation a reputation in a few months than Republicans did in 30 years. He's part of the reason Trump is president of the United States. Bernie's movement became a hate mission against one woman with people throwing dollar bills at her on the street. Heinous and sexist. Okay, Peter. Peter went on to say this. Our ironclad commitment. Dr. Cornell West will be on the ballot next November. There will be no dropping out and endorsing a Democrat. We are here to oppose the system, not reinforce it. Let's have democracy in the chat. Type three. If you think he's sincere, if you think this is good, if you think they will follow through, type four, no. This is not going to happen. That won't happen. Now, I want to pull up something else here. Shout out to Comrade Misty. Maritime David Brock. You're probably wondering who David Brock is. Now, I can't say anything more about this, but you see it. You see what she wrote there. Now, David Brock and his bot army posted some very questionable things on some Facebook pages. That were taken down. Remember 2016? If you remember, just type I remember. I remember 2016 and what happened to the Bernie Sanders Facebook pages. Brock was working with the Clinton campaign back in the day in 2016. Hell, we talked about it back in the day on our radio show. And I bet Peter Dow might remember that. I don't know if he gave the green light to it. However, 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 however. Now, again, I hope all of you are seeing this. I hope all of you are reading this. I hope all of you see it. Again, I see all of you here saying you pretty much remember. I want to pull this up here as well. Peter, we invite you to be on Hard Lens Media. I've been asked whether I'm willing to appear on any indie left media podcasts and shows, and the answer is 100% yes. 
I'm excited about sharing why I believe so strongly in Dr. Cornell West, his campaign, and the Green Party. If let's have more democracy. The type five, you think, yeah, he'll show up on the Jimmy Dore show or RBN or Hard Lens Media or Do Dissidents. Type five, you think he'll do it. Type six, no, he won't. No, he won't. Because I actually went to Peter Dow's uh, page. Guess I'm going to have to find some way to contact him, but I'll see if I can get it, get it done, pull it off. But I shall try. I shall try. Shout out to no more donations. Good to see you again. Go on Jimmy Dore's show and answer all the questions Cornell West wouldn't answer. Also answer questions about your IDF training background and what operations you took part of during your militia service. That's for starters. That's a very, 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 very good question. Now, there's something else I wish to share with all of you. And that is, you may remember when Peter Dow used to be part of the Marianne Williamson campaign. Now, something happened. Something happened indeed in which myself, do dissidents and RBN kind of were wondering, well, what, what was happening with the Marianne Williamson campaign? Because again, Peter Dow was part of the Hillary Clinton campaign in 2016, part of the Bernie Sanders campaign in 2020. That's why it was so lackluster. And of course, now the Marianne Williamson campaign of 2024. Now, when he dropped out, when he quit being a campaign manager, because he was the first campaign manager to quit, uh, he stated he had personal reasons to quit. He had uh, family matters issues. Now, that was four months ago. What changed? I mean, maybe maybe he still had to get over the trauma of dealing with Marianne Williamson. I mean, four months of recovery, fine. I'll drink to that. But I'm calling BS. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he finally realized that the Democratic Party was full of BS and he wanted to do something different. But a lot can happen in four months. But he said he had personal things to take care of. Fine. I guess. But I also want to pull up this video interview here. It's just a one-minute segment of Jimmy Dore speaking with Nico House in regards towards his conversation with Dr. Cornell West. Now, again, this was a fantastic interview. And I encourage all of you to go to Nico House's YouTube channel and to see the interview uh, in its full entirety. Let's go check it out here. It has to deal with, again, the difference between Biden and Trump. And this is where, again, Dr. Cornel West and the Green Party are going to have to be very militant against both parties, including Biden. Because in comparison to Trump and Biden, yes, they are the same. However, Biden is the architect, one of the many architects of this neoliberal nightmare we're in. Trump, he didn't design it. He knew how to manipulate the system that we live in. But he hasn't been in politics for 30 years. Unlike Brother Biden, where everybody knows that's a losing message to say that Donald Trump's a fascist and Joe Biden isn't. And that besides Donald Trump's racism without ever mentioning Biden's. Yeah, no, I thought Joe Biden's Biden. Joe Biden's a bigger racist is just as big. Uh, let's put it this way. Just as big. He's actually been more uh, detrimental to the black and brown community. Yeah. Joe Biden did for sure. I when he asked me, he asked me, couldn't believe he asked the question. How is Joe Biden a bigger fascist than Trump? I go, well, the black and brown people are locked up at higher rates than any, and we have the biggest penal colony in the world because of Joe Biden, not Donald Trump. Donald Trump did the step back, which actually got him more support. Two out of 10 black voters are going to vote for Donald Trump. That Are you going to call them white supremacists? Are you going to call them neo-fascists? Are you going to call... So the, the Joe Biden is the racist. He's always been a racist. He blag, bragged about it. He bragged about it. he didn't want his kids growing up in a racial jungle. Remember what Kamala Harris said to him at the debate? She All that stuff, oh, yeah. that all... That all gets wiped away from Cornell West's message. It's all gone. Joe Biden's the good guy, and brother Biden's the good guy, and Trump's a neo-fascist. Jimmy's not wrong. And he's not. And I'm going to explain why. Biden's been on the wrong side of history. Now, it's easy to vilify Trump. But I need everyone to understand this. This is not an endorsement of Trump. But Trump right now, what the Democrats are doing, trying to derail him, they're making him more universally popular, okay? And this is something that the Green Party and the progressive movement need to understand. Don't associate yourself with the liberals. They'll betray you at every goddamn opportunity. Don't try and reform the Democrats. They don't want to be reformed. They're just as corrupt as the Republican Party. It's simple as that. Now, Democrat voters, Republican voters, I, I really wish there was probably a better opportunity for you guys to 
distance yourselves or break away from the DNC and RNC, especially now with the actions of what the Green Party has done, because I do call into question this judgment that West and Stein have made for the campaign for 2024. Knowing Peter Dow and his association with the Democrats, it is not good to have a snake like this part of your organization. And I do fear for the worst because we have seen this stuff before. And it leads again to my argument of why we need to start doing now more citizen ballot initiative talks, building movements and organizations not connected to Washington, D.C. And I don't care if this causes Trump to get reelected, but Trump isn't the villain. There are far more evil, vile people than Trump in office. OK, Trump isn't the bad guy. He might be a bad guy, but in my personal opinion, he's at the bottom of the freaking totem pole in regards to evil in this country. There are politicians who've been in power for decades who helped design the system that you are living in, that your children are living in, that your grandchildren are living in. And hell, hey, all of you, Gen Z, if nothing fundamentally changes, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, they're going to be suffering through it too. Boomers, Xers, millennials, we're all in this together. And the Democrats are part of it. And Biden is the architect. And I hope there is consistency in this campaign. I just want to pull up a few minutes of this um, coverage that Jimmy Dore did. Now, shout out to Compton J. I want to give full credit. He was able to post this video up. I won't be playing it in its full entirety, but I think it's important that we hear Jimmy Dore and his assessment of Peter Dow. Let's just hear it. Let's just hear it for all of you. Shout out again to Compton J of RBN. Cornell West has chosen a new campaign manager. Now, what's interesting about this is, do you remember when I asked him about who's advising him? Remember what I said? And you remember how he reacted? When I say reacted, I mean way overreacted. I was trying to be nice because Cornell West cannot stop saying that Joe Biden is the lesser of two evil and that Donald Trump is a fascist, but Joe Biden isn't. And so Cornell West is basically campaigning for Joe Biden when he says that, and he doesn't care. So I said to him this campaign to pick up traction this is the opposite way to do it who's ever advising you sounds like an infiltrator oh, but, but but why do you keep saying advising i'm thinking again there's a lot to take away from that previous interview and we, we covered it as well but looking back at that emotion it does raise some red flags now of when and how peter dow got associated and when dr jill stein brought him on board thank you so I don't know if you caught what I said. I don't know who's advising you. It sounds like an infiltrator. And then he just snapped. I, what do you think about? He's like, he doesn't have any advisors. Why wouldn't you have advisors? That, of course he did. And he was already in talks with this, with the guy he just hired, this guy, Peter Dow, who is an infiltrator. <laughs> That's amazing. No wonder Cornell West overreacted because he hired this guy. He said, I am very blessed to have my brother, Peter Dow. Now, if I'm going to tell you who Peter Dow is. Peter Dow is an infiltrator. Peter Dow was one of the hitmen for Hillary Clinton. He smeared everybody 24-7, including myself, including Bernie Sanders, anybody who voted for Bernie Sanders, third-party voters, Jill Stein. This guy was a hitman, one of the most big, the biggest smear merchants for Hillary Clinton's corporatism and warmongering. And so that's why when I asked Cornell West this, I think that's why he overreacted. I was trying to give him an out saying that, hey, your advisor, I, I didn't want to call, say he's having bad ideas. I wanted to say his advisors were. I thought that would be a nice way to say it. Watch how he reacts. Campaign to pick up traction. This is the opposite way to do it. Who's ever advising you sounds like an infiltrator. Oh, but, but but why do you keep saying advising? I'm thinking for myself, brother. I'm a okay, I don't mean to insult you. That's not, even, that's not that's hmm. So I think that's why. So here he is. He announces it. Uh, they're going to work together. Los Angeles presidential candidate. So there it is. That's the announcement. Now, so what kind of garbage is Peter Dow known for? He's Dow, he's known for making false attacks on people and hiding behind sexism, racism, misogyny, everything. So when he was working for Hillary Clinton, Chris Saliza tweeted out, it's been 263 days since Hillary Clinton last held a press conference. That's a dangerous president. That's a, that's a year, right? Or almost, a, that's like, 
three quarters of a year, mm -hmm. isn't it? 260. Mm -hmm. Anyway, who cares? It's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> and so he retweets this guy saying Trump not releasing his tax returns is no problem, though. I don't care about Trump's tax returns. OK, these politicians aren't paying taxes. And when you have Nancy, Diane Feinstein, Chucky Boy Schumer, you have uh, Turtle Boy Mitch McConnell who stares like this, like a statue or uh, Lindsey Graham Crack, or anyone else who's part of the Democratic or Republican Party in the Senate and House, when they're doing insider trading, in regards to Trump's tax returns, what's the bigger issue? Here, I'll let you decide. Option A, Trump's tax returns, because, oh my goodness, a billionaire might not have paid his taxes, or currently serving election uh, uh, representatives in option B, who are doing insider trading and screwing over the American people and are currently in power writing rules and regulations to make themselves richer while the rest of us are constantly getting screwed up the wazoo. Which one's a bigger issue to you? The orange man or our serving politicians? I don't care about Trump. I know what to expect from Trump, but I'll let you decide. I'll let you decide because this is the world we're living in. And somebody like Peter Dow is advising Dr. Cornell West. The fox is in the goddamn hen house. Now, maybe I'm wrong, Peter. Show up on the Jimmy Dore show if you got the nerve. Show up on Hard Lens Media if you got the nerve. Show up on RBN if you got the nerve. But I don't think you will, buddy. Okay, those things, things don't have anything to, to do with each other. So that's just them trying to deflect. He retweets it, and then he says this. Make no mistake, the media's obsession with forcing a Hillary press conference is all about her gender. Mm. Do you see how this hurts feminism, how it hurts women, how it hurts the left? And he doesn't care, right? Because that's the kind of garbage person that Peter Dow is. This is what he does. And he's for hire, and he'll do it. And so he's an infiltrator for the DNC. He's a Trojan horse. And now... I, I was wondering why did why did Cornell West why did that get such a big reaction from him? It's because he is being advised by an infiltrator. This guy's an infiltrator from the DNC. He he uh, he 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 earlier in the campaign was working for a Democrat, Mar Marianne Williamson. Yeah. Uh, so the, he and again that was four months ago. Four months ago. Four months ago, Peter Dow was with the Marianne Williamson campaign in which he had to sign an NDA. I'm very curious if he will be willing to talk about that. Peter, will you be willing to talk about your situation with the Marianne Williamson campaign? And you did say that you had to drop out due to personal matters. Now, again, we all have personal matters. Hell, no one's perfect and situations do rise up. But now out of the blue, you're with the West campaign. I want to acknowledge a couple of super chats now. I want to acknowledge a couple of super chats. Um, Kyle, you wrote, uh, you tip five dollars. Is the bar set when we have to be perfect now? Dr. West has told us he's not perfect. No, uh, he's not perfect. Um, but he could have made a better decision than this, or his advisors could have made a better decision than this. Vicky Blair, Kit, it doesn't matter who suggested Dow. Dr. West told Jimmy very emphatically, I make my own decisions, and this is a really bad one. Uh, Mary Ebenen Collins writes, it explains West door interview. Now we know where his talking points came from. Damn. And, uh, Christine Nye says, I'm shocked and utterly disappointed. I, vo I voted for Dr. Jill Stein at this point. Why? He's so what he did was he went from the Hillary Clinton campaign, which we, he was a big, the most, uh, biggest smear merchant. There was the biggest dishonest guy I've ever seen in politics. And that's saying something. And he also worked for David Brock, who's the even more dishonest guy. Yeah. And, um, it's more important than Trump's taxes or Trump calling P president of the United States a terrorist. If not, that's called. So he's just doing that. that he's doing that horrible thing. And then he says, so far, not a single critic of my tweet about gender bias against Hillary has read my words precisely. Because that's what you wanted. When you're a writer, you want to make sure you can be easily misinterpreted when you make crazy generalizations like that and hide behind sexism and gender and all that bullshit. So that's why Cornell West overreacted, because that's that's who he was. He's working with yeah. an infiltrator. I called it. I called it. He's like, sounds like an infiltrator. 
He was he is working with an infiltrator. What the hell is so Cornell West is out there repeating the Democratic Party's campaign message, which is Donald Trump is a fascist and Joe Biden is a lesser of two evil. That's the Democratic. That's a Democrat's message. Uh, Cornell West can't stop repeating it. <laughs> and then he and of course, I say, who's advising you? He's being advised by an infiltrator directly from the Hillary Ca Clinton campaign, who was his job to smear Bernie Sanders and all of his supporters and Bert, by the way, Cornell West was an advisor to Bernie Sanders in 2016 when this guy was doing that stuff. This does not bode well for Cornell West. This, <laughs> so he, Peter. Yes, and then Peter Dow did this too. The support of Cornell West is inspiring. He put their he put their name in his mouth from Revolution Blackout Network uh, to Brianna Joy Gray to Real Tim Black to every single one of you who is dedicated to breaking the duopoly's grip. Thank you. Dow then tweets out. The support for Cornell West is inspiring from the revolutionary blackout network to Brianna Joy Gray. And guess what? The people from the revolutionary blackout network called him a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I had to retweet that. All right. So, you know, this is just halfway in through this video, um, and I'll post a full link uh, from this Twitter account uh, in the video because I'm going to be clipping this. Uh, shout out again to Compton J of RBN. Um, and I know you've been seeing a lot of stuff, all the you know buzz on social media. But again, I have to return back to this. This was suggested by somebody who saw firsthand and witnessed firsthand just who Peter Dow truly is. Dr. Jill Stein, Dr. Cornell West, you have made a grave error in my opinion. Now, maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe I am. I'm willing to accept that. Boy, oh boy, what a sight it will be. And I want to say, hey, okay, maybe I was wrong or I was wrong. I want to say these words. But knowing firsthand Peter Dow's association with the Democratic Party, what he has said about third parties and independence with the aftermath of 2016, the lackluster campaign of Bernie Sanders' uh, campaign in 2020, and of course, his association with the Marion Williamson campaign that is nothing more than a glorified book tour. I do have to call into question just how serious this Green Party campaign for 2024 for uh, Dr. Cornell West truly will be. I want to be proven wrong on this so badly. I don't want to see somewhere at the halfway point, oh, uh, we have to end the campaign because the threat of Donald Trump Woogie boogie boogie. Trump. Oh my goodness. Gracious Cretaceous. We got to hide. There's Trump. He's somewhere out there. Trump, 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 because we got to help Biden and the Democrats because they're neoliberal fascists, which is what they are. Okay, it's easy to vilify Republican politicians. You want to watch a show that's going to badmouth Republicans? There's MSNBC, there's CNN, there's TYT, there's Majority Report. Go waste your time with them. They'll tell you to vote Democrat. That's what they're going to tell you to do. That's not the purpose of this show. The purpose of the show is to inspire people to get involved in politics, break away from the two-party system. But if the Green Party is going to have the fox in the hen house, I do have to call in the question of the progressive movement. What's going to happen to it? I mean, God damn it. It comes as no surprise why the Libertarian Party actually succeeds and does better than the Greens. Every time the Green Party tries to do something or anything, there's nothing but gatekeepers and they crap the bed, literally. We have every right to be sounding the goddamn alarm. We have every right to be shouting from the rooftop that something isn't right. Now, to be fair, maybe Peter Dow has changed. And I invite him to be on our show. Because he is an insider. And maybe he's had a change of heart. Maybe he maybe he truly has decided, I need to do some good. And for that, for that, okay. Maybe this could be a benefit. Possibly. I'm not willing to go that far, though. And so we invite him to be on the show. Because if he is an insider, he knows how the system works. And maybe that could help the Greens actually get on the ballot, be on the debate stage. But everything is right now uncertain. You know, I asked 
And I hoped and I prayed that 2024 would be an interesting election cycle. And it is becoming very interested. interesting. I just wasn't expecting this twist and turn. All I can say is, come on, Dr. Jill Stein. Did you really think you made the right choice here? Because I call into question this decision and the consequences that could possibly follow. I hope I am wrong. 